Okay, we uh, added another 2x4 to protect the wires here. And that's going to be our inside edge. Now we put a header across the top because we took out about 4 feet. Three studs basically. Well, we're replacing the end stud with a king stud and a cripple, so we're going to stick that in there flush with the edge of the drywall. And then we'll have our opening and we can cut through to the other side. This was measured out for the uh, faucet to come out to the proper depth. Added one 2 by 4 for our step. Got the header behind there and the drop ceiling. Now we're going to cut the drain. Okay, the drain is right in here. You can see the bolts. I'm going to cut that off after I lay everything in the corners. Just fold them over, nail them tight into the corner. Now this we're just going to nail the outside edge. This comes off. Screw that in. Corner bead on here. The thin set on the inside edge. Spackle on the outside. All the way around. Cut out the uh, hole for the nook, which should have been done before actually. But get your valve. Flush with the finished tile, so we left a little extra space there. Got your handheld, got your shower head. Put a coat of spackle on the ceiling. That's going to have to be painted before we tile up to it, as well as this corner has to be painted. Okay, here we are with the wall tile. I started off leveling the bottom row, and um, actually the second from the bottom was important because I wanted the bullnose to be factory edge. So I ran bullnose up a few courses, and I leveled across and started laying this wall all the way up. Sometimes you get lucky and the cutouts are on the edge of the tile rather than right in the center of one. So that worked out pretty good. And there's your faucet controls. This one as well worked out right on a seam, so that was good. I uh, made sure to prime the uh, 
corners so I can tile right up to it with paint, obviously, paint primer. Now the nook on this side, that was a little bit of work. These always are to make them look nice. Try to center the joints now in the middle of each side. And then uh, this will have to get filled with grout because these tiles are only like two and a half inches deep and the opening is like three inches. So I, uh, normally I would let this overlap, put the bullnose on the inside, but that wasn't going to work. Then I'd have a little tiny sliver in the back. But it also worked out good with the height, so I can run another row exactly across the top there. Finish this wall, then I got one more to do. I also started laying out yesterday. One row of these mosaics. I'm doing those with thin set. And these I'm just doing with mastic. Okay, the shower has been tiled. I just took the door off the hinges because now I'm going to tear up the old floor. I'm putting a marble saddle here so I marked a line and scored the vinyl because there's a quarter inch lawn that has to be ripped up. Pulled the top off the sink. That's just a matter of shutting the valves. I took the handles off because uh, I want to be able to pull off and leave those shutoffs right on there. And uh, yeah, we're going to pull the toilet, the vanity. The vanity's loose, but it will not, will not come out because the flooring is right up against it, against the base there. So I'm going to take the flooring up first. All right. Okay, so I took that cutoff tool. Of course, it was right on the staples. I wrecked my blade, but. That's for the marble saddle. Left exactly four and an eighth for a four inch saddle. Ripped out the old plywood, the old toilet. And I'm screwing down half inch backer board with these you know, backer, backer on, whatever. Same ones I used on the wall, although they do make thicker ones for the floor, but the heads always stick out. So I got this cut up for the toilet here and the air conditioning pit. And I'm just going like, to pry this back a little bit, get it centered. Hopefully it fits the first time. Good there. Good here. So I can screw this sheet down and I got one more piece along the wall and it's ready for tile. for the screw one eighth. We can stick this thing in. All 
All right, now we drill the rest. After you thread these covers on, you take the adjustable tool to give you to tighten it. of the ends. Make sure that the glass is level. And also mark the notch at the bottom. Right where the bracket goes in the corner there. Take out the uh, plate in the bottom. Get screwed right into the hole I drilled and take off the tape. pre-drill that with an eighth inch drill. That was a picture? <laughs> 